Hello everybody, welcome back. Got a great video for you here today. I was out at my local Walmart store and saw some of these new heart storage solutions and they are pretty nice. Now, before we get to that, I wanted to invite you all to come see me on a YouTube stream. It's going to be the After Dark Show with Joe Smith. It's kind of done in the style of old time radio. Joe is a great guy, great creator on YouTube and a prince in the YouTube tool community, I guess you would call it. That is going to be Friday the 13th at 8 Central Time, Joe Smith's time, and 6 Pacific Time. That's going to be what time it's on in Arizona here with Dale Lucent. So it's going to be a great show. If you don't mind, please sit that, hit that like button when you come into the, uh, the stream. And if you like the content, please subscribe to Joe Smith's channel. Great guy. I think you'll like some of his content. I'm, I'm a subscriber myself. Now, that is Friday the 13th, so it's going to be much safer than going out and, you know, running into someone like this guy over here. But who knows? <laughs> so don't forget also my Harbor Freight video here for this weekend. The Put a link to the video right up here going to be a parking lot sale, so don't miss that either. Now let's have a look at this new heart storage solution, shall we? Hey everybody, here at my local Walmart, notice there's been a little bit of buzz about these uh, heart storage solutions. This is going to be the 36 inch six drawer roller chest, and they've got another version of it over here that is also a roller chest, but it's a version, it's a five drawer instead of a six drawer and it's got the wood top and we'll look at it in a minute so that you can see the the casters and all now the reason i'm i'm doing a video on these because i looked at these really good before and i'm, I'm going to say they're similar uh construction to the husky but not the husky they're they're making a, a transition in husky right now between what they're calling the industrial and the heavy duty so it's not industrial or heavy duty Husky, but I'd say it's equivalent to Husky. It's probably a step above the really uh, cheapo, cheapo kind of craftsman stuff you get. It's, it's pretty well built from what I can tell. This is a 36 inch roller chest that has a matching top chest for it. The wood version of it comes with a power strip. This one does not because there's a power strip in the top tail of the chest that goes with it. The logo that you see, it looks like it's just an applique. To me, I think they kind of cheaped out there when some of the other materials are premium. But they're 100 pound slides. The bottom drawer has two slides on it. I don't know about the second drawer up because the only one they have here is inside of a package. But they're soft clothes, ball bearing drawers, 100 pound slides. Here, I'm gonna give you a look at the top chest. See if I can get you guys up here. It's got a pretty generous top till on it, which is something that you don't get on a US General. 36 inch wide, this uh, this color is part of the drawer. It's, it's not plastic overt or anything. So it's kind of this nice uh, muted blue and blue chrome look. The drawers, soft clothes. I don't know if you're seeing that. Let me get up here, do a good. Those work pretty good and look at how heavy duty the chest handle is. They kind of chintz out, I think, on some of these appliques. They're just stickers or whatever. Even the US General is better than this applique here. The power ports have a overload protection and USB charger ports on them. And as I said, it's 36 inch. It's got a really super generous top till on it. It comes with liners, but there's no, uh, you, you know, as much as they're happy about their heart logo, they, they don't have any uh, stampings in the liners. Let's, let's see if this drawer, this drawer does have, I told you here, it has the dual glide ball bearings. First thing I would do is, is grease these up. And you have a single one on that next bigger drawer. But the soft clothes seems to work very good. This is a deeper drawer on this wood top version where the roller 
version has three shorter drawers that are made more for wrenches and, and sockets. So it totally makes sense. The liners are, are nice, but as I said, there's no like uh, logo pressed into it or anything like that. But it's just about the quality that I would expect to see based on, you know, what I think the gauge of steel to be. And that is, as I said, the Husky. Five inch by two casters are similar to what come on the tool carts for the US General. And they work very well. There you go, you can see the caster's in pretty good shape. So that's it, I just thought you guys would like to have a look at it. I think I've been getting some flack about the heart tools that I've been reviewing and looking at, but um, I just went up and down the aisle of my Walmart here, and I gotta tell you, they are, in my opinion, hands down a step above for sure above the hyper tough that we're used to seeing at Walmart. So if you get a chance, you know, be be a little more optimistic and stop in and have a look at some of these heart tools because I think you guys are going to like them. You know, it's just like anything else where you gotta be a little bit careful about what you're picking. For instance, this heart ratchet here that you only seem to get one twist off of before it locks up again. N 90 tooth ratchet right there. It, it locked up. And that is hard to move but you can't get it to move. And it, it feels like cheap plastic but I don't think it is. And so you'll get a few turns and then right there it locks again. This is not even off the shelf. So, Hart, you guys gotta fix that kind of stuff. It's an extendable ratchet. You guys have seen these at, uh, at Harbor Freight, the, the uh, Pittsburgh version of these. And there's, this one here is, the Hart has a lot of slop in it compared to the Pittsburgh. I thought it would be very similar because, you know, some of this hyper stuff, hyper tough stuff, is very similar to what you're used to seeing in the Pittsburgh line at Harbor Freight. I've noticed that the packaging looks very similar on these wrenches to what you might see in Pittsburgh brand at Harbor Freight. So um, I, I really do expect when the dust settles, Hart will be a step above this. So don't count it out until you've gone and seen for yourself. Don't let somebody else set your opinion Go and look for yourself, maybe buy a test tool or a handful of them and try them yourself and then make up your mind. Now, I just wanted to wrap up real quick by letting you know that although U.S. General at Harbor Freight does not make a 36 inch wide roller cart and chest, they do make the 26 and the 44. Now, if you take the width in inches and kind of do some fuzzy math with it, then you'll you'll find that the 36 inch is just about the same price as its heart would be. The difference being that although U.S. General may have a little bit thicker gauge steel in their product, this heart roller cabinet and, and chest, if you buy it as a combo, are going to come out to about the same amount of money and you're going to get the soft closed drawers, you're going to get the built-in power strip with USB charger, and you get a top till. So that's something to think about. A U.S. General power strip with a couple of USB chargers on it is going to cost you about 30 bucks. Now, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share these videos with your friends. It makes a difference on the metric on YouTube, and I would appreciate that. If you are coming up on your weekend, make it a good one, everybody, and take care.